Hey, what's happening, Roland? Well, today it's Friday, and it's time now for our weekly update. And I'm with my good friend Ronnie Curry. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been I've been here in Missouri. We've been doing a combination of fishing on Bull Shoals Lake. We fished a couple of the other little ponds, and uh, and we've done some turkey hunting. And not not real real successful on the turkey. It's kind of, it's been been kind of tough on the turkeys right now. But anyway. We're, uh, we're back at the lake. Now, here's the funny thing about today, is that we're fishing a lake that yesterday, Ronnie, don't you think that maybe we caught as many fish yesterday as we've ever caught ever? What'd you got one? You got one? What'd you got, So Look, look, he's got one. He, Ronnie's got one already. All right. But right here, in this lake, we caught a hundred and something bass yesterday. And that's just a little one. Yeah. But I'm telling you what, we had a bunch of three and four and five pound fish. It was just incredible. And say, say uh, the top forty bass. How big do you think? How, how big do you think the top forty bass were yesterday here? I think they were the average four pounds. They probably well three to four. I mean, they were at a couple fives. We had a six or two, a couple sixes. And uh, anyway, Ronnie was catching one that little. What do you have there? Is it a little one point five? One point five. The one point five. You're reeling it kind of slow, aren't you? Yeah. Just, just kind of slow and slow and easy. Stopped it every once. Just in stopping a while. it like that. Stopping it. Okay. Well, I was throwing a cinco, and that cinco was really tough. And we're going out to these trees out there in the, in the water. You see the big trees out there, and we're th taking the cincos and dropping right by the tree. And it was, it was a sunny day like today. There was a big bass by every tree. Pretty much a big bass by every tree. We also caught some on spinnerbait. Remember, it got a little bit overcast, and the wind got to blow on, on this bank a little bit. And uh, some of the some of the five and six pound fish we caught, we didn't catch a lot of five and six pound fish, but we had some five and six pound fish right out of this lake. 150 bass. Now, now, Ronnie, let me ask you this: You know, you you fished all over Missouri, and don't you think that this week, uh, as far as bull shoals, has been alive and well? Uh, bull shoals are the best I've ever seen. We caught. Last week, we uh, on Cinco's and stuff, we had a fantastic day uh, uh, on Bull Shoals. Now, Bull Shoals is <clears throat> before the range came. Now, it's going to change a little bit now. I heard that it came up over five feet so far. Yeah. So, the fishing is going to be a little different, but it's alive and well. Well, you know, Ronnie and I did a really great film. In fact, he said, he said here we are at the upper end of the lake. And uh, we we're in, a, in part of a, an area near Missouri where we we're going to uh, see if we could find some turkeys as well, remember? And then we were kind of looking around. We didn't see any. But anyway, we pulled in the first bank we came to. And it was just, it was incredible. I, how many did we catch there? We caught, we caught, uh, before I even got started, he had a not three or four pounder. And then he had another big one. We caught some five pounders and four pounders. It was just fantastic. And that was bull shoals, the best I've ever seen bull shoals be. It was really, really, really good. Now, our turkey hunting. What's wrong with the turkeys this year? We've had a very, the last two or three years have not been good years for the hatch, and it's finally caught up with us. And uh, I think the turkey population statewide, not just in parts of the state, but statewide are way down. Well, just judging from what I've seen on Ronnie's uh, property, he has uh, several hundred acres in Ava, and we've hunted uh, Camden, and I've, I've been with Randy Mosley and a couple guys. We're not seeing very many turkeys. It's been, it's been a really, really tough season. Now, I've had a good season so far because I got my granddaughter, Hillary, uh, I mean, no, my granddaughter, uh, Amelia, got her her first turkey down in Florida. And I was using my little box calls. You know, I'm making the, the, the calls. I got them right here in the boat. In fact, see, I got, I got one right here. This is, this is, I have, to, I have to keep talking about it because this is turkey season. And Ronnie is an expert turkey hunter. And this is this is the turkey call that I've that I've been making. And hey, Ronnie, just hold this when you get reel it in. Just hold hold this uh, call. I'm I'm just gonna have you hold the camera just like it like like, like that, and just just kind of right there. And I'm just gonna say, listen to this, folks. That's turkey. That's turkey talk. That's a turkey talking deal. That's something else. That's why I think it's kind of cool. But anyway. <laughs> That is, and it, it cuts. And it's one of the ways to get a gobbler to, to go in the spring, I don't care if you're in Connecticut or California, go like this. That's a cut. See that? This big box call does a cut better than anything that ever, ever was built. 
And I build this bottom out of butternut. I've gotten in central Missouri years ago. In fact, Ronnie and I found the butternut tree 20 something years ago and I brought it to a lumber mill. And we cut all these bases out. And then the top is acacia. And acacia wood is, uh, is wood from my backyard. It's an Australian hardwood. And you can see me making bowls. I've made a bunch of bowls just to give to give to different people. And the bowls are real hard. And that acacia actually is good for making bowls and flooring. They actually make flooring with this with this wood. But listen to it. It's a, an exquisite call. Two hundred bucks, signed and delivered. Go to Judy M at fishingwithrollermartin.com for your turkey hunters. Okay, back to fishing. Hey, Ronnie, what do you, what do you think we ought to do today? I think we ought to repeat what we did yesterday. That was something else, wasn't it? Holy if, if we can, if we can. Well, that'll be hard. To, that'll be hard to reproduce. Yep. You know what? Oh, this. Okay, we, we you were just throwing a little uh, bait. You have a cinco deal, or no? You have a spinnerbait also tied up, right? Oh, what, yeah. What's that? What's that there? Okay, okay. Are we talking about the spinnerbait? Also, last week, what we did, we also had a really, really a big time deal on the trailer hook. Now, show, show them what that trailer hook is, because that trailer hook is so, so important on, on good fishing. So you just put it on, it's about a two aught. Slide it on the, the main hook, put a little stopper on there if you put a trailer behind it if you want to, and uh, you'll catch most of your fish that hit short on that trailer hook. Yeah. In fact, we did a, we did a show just the other day where, the, where all the fish we caught, I mean, they were just nipping at it, and I'd say we had... Uh, 20 nice ones, three and four and five pound fish, 20 on the trailer hook. I mean, not on the spinnerbait itself. They were hitting at the uh, trailer. In fact, what happened was Ronnie put a trailer hook. He had uh, one on his spinnerbait. I didn't have one on mine. And all of a sudden he, uh, he you know, he catches a four pounder. He catches a five. And, and, and I, I'm not catching them. And I didn't start catching those really big fish until I put a trailer hook on. I said, Ronnie, I, I give up. Uh, I know there's timber in the lake, I know there's brush in the lake, and it's hard to fish a trailer hook sometimes, but not really. This is the kind of lake we didn't get hung up hardly at all yesterday, even with a trailer hook. I'd say I'd say out of the couple hundred casts we made, we maybe got hung up, what, twice at, at the most? Yeah, uh... and, and that's throwing a trailer hook on a spinnerbait. Okay, now that, okay, so the other thing that you were just uh, showing, and you just was casting just a minute ago, was that little uh, 1.5 uh, bait? Uh -huh. okay. Show them that real quick. The 1.5. That's a, that's a cool little bait. That's that's a, that's a that's a nice little bait for. Okay, what this is? And that's a little 1.5. And and how how are you retrieving that, Ronnie? What were you doing? There's a couple ways to do it. You can throw it out and burn it back to the boat, or you can stop and go with it. And it depends on the fish will tell you what they want. Yeah. If you're if they, if they're real aggressive and active, you can reel it fast. But if they're not, let it stop. It'll kind of stop and come to the top a little bit, and then start again. And most of the time, they'll hit it right when it starts okay. again. Well, go go ahead and make a cast and show us. Show show what we're talking about. Okay, made a nice long cast, about 100 foot cast right out there. He's roll, rolling, they're reeling along. He's stopping it. Okay. Oh, you got one. Oh, one hit. It? Little bump. You hit. It? You killed one to strike it, didn't you? Yeah. Hmm. He did have a strike. What are they doing? Try that again. I think he's gonna get him this time. He's gonna get him, son. I can see it. I don't know if there's big five, five, four and five pound. Well, they were up the lake a little ways, so it's hard to say. One hit it right there. You hit it right there. You got it. You got him. No, I hit it again. You get it? Hitting that little short. Huh? He's getting some strikes. Very aggressive today. Yep. Well, you know, here's another thing. You know, we caught so many fish here yesterday. You think that messed it, messed it up for today? Hard to say. I've never caught that many before, so I can't tell you. We really caught them yesterday. My gosh. You know, generally speaking, this is only a 10 or 15 acre lake. Generally speaking, the second day is not as good as the first day. The first day, and you know, because nobody has fished this lake lately. And so I think these fish were just super aggressive. And, and I think that was that was why we caught so many yesterday. And, I, and the time will tell. And, I, and I'll tell you next week if if we caught them really good here, because uh, I mean, it, let's face it, uh, uh, it's really some really great fishing. But anyway, 
hey, let's get out on the lake. I'm going to launch the boat. That's what's happening in my world. A lot of fishing, a little bit of turkey hunting. Hey, folks, you can't get any better than springtime in the Ozarks with my good friend Ronnie Curry. And I'm going to have to get back uh, home, and I'm going to have to leave t tomorrow, I think. But yeah. anyway, Ronnie, hey, thanks for uh, having Enjoy. me up here for the last couple of weeks. Thanks for all the hunting and fishing we've done. Hey, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that likes button. Hope we told you a few things about how to catch a few fish in the meantime. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.